What is going on, you guys? Your boy, DJ. I am returning back to the channel to do the video you guys have blown up my YouTube and my email about. This is band made. This is the warning. Roll the intro. Just before we get too far into the video, I want to take a special moment to say hi to my buddy, Josh. Josh, say hi to the people, Josh. Hello. Josh is my new friend. He's helped me cut up some of these videos and give some just overall more extra beauty, if you will. I mean, you got a lot to work with, Josh. You got a lot here. Josh is my new friend, guys, so show him some love in the comments below. Let's move on. If you're new to the channel, you might not know this. However, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you anyway. My name is DJ. I'm the head instructor over here at the Temple Music Academy, both in person and online. But more so, I'm a massive fan of Japanese culture. I, I even speak Japanese. So anytime someone mentions band made, I, I'm all in, yo. I'm all in. Special shout out to Uncle Davis on the channel who originally introduced me to band made. It's just a sick band. Also recently on the channel, we've been doing a lot of the warning and breaking down a lot of their videos and talking about their gear setups, etc. So this is kind of like the perfect mix for me right now. I'm just in a great place. We're gonna get right into the video and the video is called Show Them. But before we do that, this is the rollout. <laughs> Look, reaction videos, by definition, they're gonna stop from time to time. Please remember, I am a music educator by trade and I'm a guitar major, so anytime I see a guitar player in the band, I'm gonna wanna stop and talk about it. I'm gonna seek to educate you on some of the things that I'm hearing, some of the things that I like, I don't like perhaps, all of this in an effort to hopefully help you understand the song a little bit better and we can all leave learning something new. Wouldn't that be rad? If you guys have any comments or questions about the things that I'm hearing and the things that I'm saying, go ahead and leave that question in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do about getting to it. Now, all that being said, can we just get to the video? Nice. Oh, no, no, no. Your boy want to hear that again. That's interesting to me. So I'm making a lot of weird faces right now because I'm trying to um, really discern the vocal pitches here. It's really crazy for me how they're so similar in vocal pitch and timbre. That's that's nuts. So we got Danny and we've got, oh, now the vocalist over here is, is escaping me from Bandmate. Please remind me in the comments below the name of the vocalist from Bandmate. I, I just, I don't know if it's the pressure of the camera being on. It's, it's escaping me here. But I think it's cool how... Even shots like this, we're seeing traditional poses from The Warning. Like, they're having recognizable poses. We'll see Pau here, or Paulina. She loves to, where is that here? She loves to have this little pose that she has where she has her, her right shoulder forward. It's like a power stance. Uh, this is usually because the kick drum is going to be used with that one. But what's really cool is just how the two bands are blending together in their pitch and timbre, and they're assisting each other with all of their uh, melodic content, which is really cool. So let's move on. I don't want with my head any more. I won't be the one to let you get your way. Ah, the, the, the vocal harmonization with Danny is so great. You 
Oh, that overdrive bass is so good for the descending line. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. Ah, it's so good. Very cool. So we got a very cool unison, unison line from the guitar player using octocards. Bum, 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 ba -da -la -da 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 and the guitar player is going to match that, which is fantastic. I also love this screenshot right now. This is just a fantastic. This could be the thumbnail, really. Just two guitar players really rocking out, enjoying each other's companies. I think they're both playing Mesa cabs. The lighting on this one is a little weird. We got a Bogner head and a Mesa. Is that a dual or triple rec? Uh, we got a mess of wreck head. So that's, uh, this is just, it's so cool to see two bands get together like this and have so much fun. Oh, man. I'm done with playing nice at games that try to change me. Better bet I am the one who throws the dice. Win or lose, it's on me. I get to choose my victory. Oh, cool. I freaking love this bass player so rewinded, man. I just love this bass player so much. Great finger style. A little slap. Ooh. Oh, so many good guitar lines, dude. I wanted to, so many good guitar lines. I, I want to point out, speaking as a guy who has shot music videos like this, well, not like this, but, you know, I, I've shot a few music videos. One of the hardest things to do when shooting the music video and that is often taken for granted and forgotten about is shots like this, hearing the playback, like hearing the playback to be in time to lip sync with it. it it's really hard. And in a shot like this where they're completely outside on a helicopter pad, we have to assume that the speakers are either hidden on set somewhere or they're they're just super loud kind of in perspective of the camera where we are kind of thing. My band shot a video called Uprooted, and I'll try and link that. Maybe, Josh, we can put something around there for it. Uh, Uprooted, we ended up ha hiding the PA speakers in the bushes around and under the drum set, and then we built a platform and put shrubbery on top of the platform and then put the drum set on that so we could hear the playback. And we were running generators because we were out in the woods. It was a whole thing. If you guys want to watch that video, go ahead and check that out. Actually, that would, that would be rad if you guys checked out my band. Let's back to the video, shall we? Just they complement each other so well in their vocal harmony, man. 
and then the whole band. Let's just rock out, or both bands, really. <laughs> ah, I love that. Oh, snap. Holy crap. No, 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 no. I want to I wanna see that again. Oh, she's so good. Oh, yeah. Can I rewind for that guitar part again? Like, that's just freaking sick. Oh, I love that. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. We're doing a whole pass from the top again. I do want to point out that one of the rad things this two bands are doing is they're not overstepping each other they're allowing opportunities for each one of them to shine like they went down to like one of the drummers gets to start the fill while the other drummer starts the next verse like they really allowed everybody a chance to shine which doesn't always happen it's fantastic and i like how you see them two uh the two like bass players for example will come up to meet each other or the two guitar players and your instinct is like it's like an mma fight you know like they're getting ready to challenge each other but they're not everybody's just complimenting each other and it's just Everybody wins, and the result is this killer tune. Let's watch, uh, watch it all the way from the top. Here we go. I also noticed Danny's vocal recording this time is, is mostly dry. A lot of times I'm used to hearing some cool effects on her vocal line, be it like reverb. We call that being wet, so this is neat. I think that's because, oh, that vocal harmony. My God, dude. I think bandmate typically records vocals dry. This descending line is fantastic. I just love that. When I know, when I know. Gotta hear that again. There it is again. <laughs> oh. 
what a way to end it with just that bass line. Doodly boom 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 ba doodly boom bounce bounce bow. Love it. There's so many rewarding parts in that song as a listener, let alone as a music nerd. I just I really dig how the styles are converging in this. I've always kind of I've always kind of looked at the warning as like this this thrashier rock band, and then the bandmate had this more I, I, like melodic technical kind of thing going on, and it was just the style differences in players really complement each other so well. It's like it's like those great mashups you always hear about. Now, from a song composition perspective, it's relatively simplistic. Now, not in a negative way, though. It, it, I, I would assume it's relatively simplistic because there's so many people involved in performing it that you wanted to give a chance for everybody to shine. What better way than to lay a standard foundation and everybody gets to just jump off from there? There's so many killer aspects of this performance piece of individual players. There's so many chances for them to shine. I'm still loving those slaps and bass pops. I love it. And I love how Ali's uh, finger style of bass playing is really complimentary there as well. I mentioned earlier in the video how it was interesting that Danny recorded relatively dry vocals. I was super used to a lot of the warning recordings having some, some delay or some reverb attached to it for a lot of the echo effect when she has those really great power belts. The slang term we use in, in music and performance is they're called wet vocals when effects are added and dry when there's next to nothing added. And I think bandmate's style has been relatively dry for almost every recording I've heard. That's just their style and timbre of how they record. So I, I would imagine that's probably a really good uh, matchup that way. If you have one set of dry and one set of wet, the effects of wet will cause this kind of delay effect to go and bleed over into the mixing of the dry. So I think it's probably a good idea that they have both dries and then they can mix from there and make it that much more badass from there. Look, uh, on a scale of one to 10, this song is probably, this song is probably a solid 10 for me because it was just fun and exciting and it melds two worlds together that I'm pumped about. I, I love Bandmade and I'm starting to really love the warning. So this, this is all, this is all a win. Look, that's gonna be it for me. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you guys think I need to break down from either of these bands. Keep me up to speed. It's honestly how I discovered this one. You blew up my comment feed. You, you, you blew it up with, with all the, the requests for this one, guys. So thank you so much. That's it for me. I'll see you at the next video. Remember, as we always say around here, it never stops. Watch it go.